ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஹலோ நமஸ்தே வணக்கம் சசரிகால் திஸ் இஸ் கோபகுமார் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் ஹை ஃபை டெக் டுடே ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு வாக் யூ த்ரூ அ டூட்டோரியல் ஆன் ஹவ் யூ கேன் ரெக்கார்ட் யுவர் ஸ்மார்ட் ஃபோன் ஸ்க்ரீன் யூசிங் ஆண்ட்ராய்ட் ஆப் ஸோ விதவுட் எனி மோர் டிலே லெட்ஸ் கெட் ஸ்டார்டட் There are various Android app like Mobizin, Duo Recorder, AZ Screen Recorder for screen recording. Mobizin and Duo Recorder are user friendly, no routing required. The biggest advantage of Mobizin app is that you can project it on computer screen. But wait! Today I am going to show you a demo and explain the simplest Android app to record mobile screen and that is AZ Screen Recorder. After you download the AZ Screen Recorder from the Play Store, press on the icon and on your screen you get to see the red floating bubble. press on the red floating bubble and you get many more bubbles press the first blue color setting bubble and you get a menu like this on the top you have three sections first is setting second video third screenshot first we'll go through setting in the setting section the first one is control option in control option we have encoder when you press encoder there are two sections in that advanced section and default mode in advanced mode you can pause so there is no need to change any setting here we leave it as it is press okay in the second we are having use magic button this button is for pro feature it's used to pause or resume when recording so let's leave it as it is the third one is stop option when you press this we have a number of options here again the first one stop by notification when we on this button whenever the video stops recording it will show a notification the second one show red blinking dot when this button also is on whenever we are recording a small blinking red button below will start to blink this indicates that the recording has started so let's leave this on the next is stop on screen off when we on this button if we want to stop the recording we just need to press the phone's on off button and the recording will stop by itself so we don't want to use this function so let's leave it as it is the fourth function is stop on shake as the name suggests when you shake the phone it will stop recording so we don't want this function so leave it as it is the last function is enable time limit that is whenever you set a time limit the recording will stop as soon as the time has reached as default it's unlimited so let's leave it as it is let's come out of this the next section is video the first one in that is resolution we have a number of resolutions here as default the resolution is 1280 into 720 so let's leave it as it is let's come out of this 
the second time frame time frame is in one second how many frame will come on a screen so if you give less frame the quality will be bad while if you give more frames the quality will be good but at the same time the file size will increase for youtube recording 30 frame rate is ideal so let's leave it as it is on 30 the next one is bit rate let's leave it on auto and come out next one is orientation in orientation we have auto landscape and portrait let's leave it on auto as it will apply for both landscape and portrait mode the last one in this section is time lapse that is video speed let's leave it as it is in disable the next one is audio setting in youtube if you are recording a tutorial or playing games we need the audio on it when you leave this button on while it's recording the screen the audio also will record with it so let's leave it on the next one is overlay information now let's go to text and logo in this section as you see you can add text to your screen for this you need to press the text and enter your text here i'm going to enter my channel name now as you see my channel name has come on the top with your hand you can move this channel name and place it anywhere that you want it to remain now i'll place it on the top same way you can change the font you can change the color you can change the background or you can change the size now the next section is add logo when you on this button and press the image you can choose which image you want and now i have chosen my logo there you can again with your hand place it where you want i'll place it here and you can choose which size you want so i leave it as it is now i'll come out of this the second function in this section is show touch when you on this function it shows a small impression as we touch the screen to explain this impression since mobile screen is small the viewers cannot see the functions that we explain so when this button is on that impression of our hand will be seen on the screen making it easier for the viewers to understand what we are explaining the third function in this is show camera now when you on this the camera appears on the left side top there you can show your face and explain now i'll off it next is timer here the first one is time recording when you on this it shows how far you have recorded the second is countdown before start just before we start to record we may not be ready this function gives us a mental awareness that recording is about to start in 3 2 1 second you can also change the countdown value as you wish so let it remain as 3 now the last one others in this the last function output directory here we can choose where our file that has been recorded has to be saved that's the end of the setting section now on the top we have second section this is video clip section all the videos that we have recorded appears over here in the next section all the screenshots that were taken will appear here so let's come out of this now let me show you how we can record the screen i will go to gadget 360 app 
before this we start to record from the left side you can see a z screen records floating bubble press on it from all the five buttons that you see press the middle red color button to start recording now as you see on my screen my channel name is on the top right hand side as well as my logo on the left side and on the right hand side bottom you can see a red dot blinking this shows that the video has started recording now let me go into the app as a demo This is our very special show. This is our coverage of the Consumer Electronics Show CES in Las Vegas. This is their 2019 edition and by the way, they no longer refer to it as a Consumer Electronics Show because think about what comes under the category of To stop recording, you have to press the red blinking button twice. To pause, just press the blinking button once. So now I'm going to stop this. I will press it twice. As you see, the recording has stopped and the new screen has popped up. This screen shows us the video that we just took. From this, we have a choice to view the video or to share the video or to delete the video or trim the video. The last one is to trim. From this section, we can trim the video or convert it to GIF, crop the video, add background to the video, protect the video or add text or stickers to the video or even merge the video. Now let's view the video that we just recorded. Now as you see on my screen, my channel name is on the top right hand side as well as my logo on the left side and on the right hand side bottom you can see a red dot blinking this shows that the video has started recording now let me go into the app as a demo very special show. This is our coverage of the Consumer Electronics Show CES in Las Vegas. This is their 2019 edition and by the way, they no longer refer to it as a Consumer Electronics Show because think about what comes under the category of. Hope this tutorial was of some help to you. If you need any more information, please do comment. That's it for now. It's time to wind up till we meet next time. This is Gopakumar signing off. Have a great day. Keep rocking. Keep smiling. Bye.